Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name's David and this is a Magic Review. Hey, today we're gonna look at the locking deck from Tim Spinoza. All right, the locking deck, what is this? This is a trick that you can do with a deck of cards. It's a fun trick, very creative trick. Uh, you can have a card selected, it's returned to the deck. You don't even have to see it. There's no force, you don't know what this, you don't know what the card is. You then bring out a safe dial or kind of like a, a lock dial and uh, place it on the deck and you then turn the right combination. You say, you know what, if I turn this to the right combination, I can find your card. And then when you lift the dial from the deck, a bunch of cards go with it and their card is the first one on the deck. The deck found their card. Let's get into this review. All right, so a couple questions we always ask about all of our magic reviews and the first of which is, What's in the box? What's in the box? Uh, you're gonna get the deck. Okay, it's a bicycle deck. You can get red or blue. Uh, you're also gonna get the download code. Download code takes you out to the internet and give you access to 37 minutes. The other thing you're gonna get is you're gonna get a plastic uh, safe dial. Okay, and that's gimmicked, of course. And uh, you can use that in connection with your deck. Is it what I thought? Uh, it's absolutely what I thought. I've done some reviews for uh, deck stabs, card stabs, things like that. And it kind of works on the same principle. As far as angles go, uh, you could flash, I suppose, but the way Tim teaches this, uh, he teaches it really simply. And so I think you can get around that pretty easily. Uh, if you're neck-tying the deck a lot or just covering it with your hands, uh, I don't think the spectator will catch uh, what you're doing. As far as inspectability goes, however, uh, after the trick is over, of course, you can't hand the deck out and you can't show them the lock dial. They would figure it out. All right, so what's the overall quality and production value of the video? Uh, Tim is in a blank room, okay? He's standing or sitting by a table which has a black cover. Uh, he's talking to a mounted camera. I don't think that he has mic'd. Occasionally he has uh, a random spectator come in and help him with his effect. As far as what they're gonna teach on the video, uh, he's gonna go over what's in the box, how to set up the deck. He's gonna run through the routine. He's gonna handle uh, how to handle a problem with a spectator. He calls them a jerk, how to handle a jerk. Uh, he's gonna talk about how to place the card back exactly where you want it, because it does have to go back exactly where you want it. The spectator can't just put it back wherever they want. Um, then he's gonna walk through the entire uh, routine with a studio performance with patterns. You'll see the entire thing uh, uncut with pattern, which is great. He's then gonna go back over everything and explain the performance. Uh, and then after that, he has another live performance at Twin Peaks. And then he goes over some alternative handlings at the end, including how to do this with a dinner jacket. Is it well made? Of course the deck is well made, it's a bicycle deck. Uh, the lock itself is very, um, it's very lightweight. It looks like it was made from molded plastic. So it's, it seems fragile, it seems delicate. All right, so how much practice does this require? Uh, you know, any card can be selected, that's great. Uh, there's no force, you don't need to know it so long as the card is returned exactly where you want it. I think people who are good with uh, the riffle force or uh, controlling cards with a riffle force, I think will gravitate towards this. They'll find this trick very simple and easy to do. How much setup and reset is there? Uh, it's very minimal. There's really only two parts to the deck and you just need to make sure uh, both parts are grouped together with their like counterparts. Positives, all right, so what are the positives? What are the good things I can say about this? Uh, it's a fun trick, it's a fun trick and a very creative approach to the pick a card, any card solution. Negatives, if I'm gonna see something bad about this, you know, the, the safe dial looks fake. Plus it has Tim's initials in it, so that's kind of strange. But you know what, I, I don't think anybody's gonna ask about that. Uh, the entire thing then becomes a one hit wonder because you can't use the deck again for anything else. You can't use it for any standard card tricks because at least 12 of the cards in the deck are not usable. Is it worth your money? It's 30 bucks, $30. Uh, and that's a good price for what you're getting as far as uh, 37 minutes of instruction, you're getting a gimmicked prop deck, and then the prop uh, safe dial, I think it's a good price point. Who would like this? I think anybody who's looking for an alternative to the walk around, pick a card, any card, I think people who do comedy magic would definitely gravitate toward this. Or if you've always wanted to do a deck stab, but just bringing in a knife doesn't fit your magician persona. All right, so that's pretty much everything I can say about the locking 
deck from Tim Spinoza and Murphy's Magic. I want to thank Hocus-Pocus.com for allowing me to have this so that I could do the review for you. And if you'd like to purchase it for yourself, I'll put a link below in the description. Thanks. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.